Today I want to talk with you about the shadows of Groundhog Day. They're a real thing, and you know if you feel shadows in your life. In the Bible, in Psalms 23, verse 4, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, perhaps we could call that the shadow of doom, uh, the shadow of imagination inside of myself, the shadow of what I'm afraid of, and it goes on. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Now that's the key. That is the key to going beyond the shadows that are in your life. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The rod and the staff are something that the sheep herder uses to protect the sheep. And it is symbology of how God will protect you every day of your life. Well, today is Groundhog Day in America. In Pennsylvania, there is a celebration of the groundhog being taken out of his hiding place. And if the groundhog sees his shadow, then he will predict that there will be six more weeks of winter. Well, like the groundhog in Pennsylvania, all of us have shadows too. And when we see a shadow that is self-perceived, imagined, well, we can go into our own cave of life, hiding from life, a hibernation of life, long beyond six weeks. You know it could go even as long as six years or beyond. I have seen people go into long, long seclusions, pulling away, all due to imagined shadows that they perceive within themselves. And in counseling, I have had people defend their shadows and fight for their shadows and say that this is more real than God, more real than anything, and they can never get beyond their shadows. Well, what I said to them and what I say to you is we are so much more than we are aware of at the time. We are children of God, and we're not alone in this life experience. We have God with us. Well, I talked today on Positive Daily Inspiration in written form about how we can go beyond, once and for all, the shadows of our past. We can do this when we realize, first of all, that we're not alone. Now, that's huge. You hear that all the time. You hear ministers say it, but it just becomes something that passes us by, like a billboard on the highway that we no longer see. But we do have God's help. It is the truth of God. God's help, what will it do for you? It will bring brightness to every new morning. But this is the key, if we allow it. See, you and I have free will to accept or to reject and block the good help of God. God's help will bring new opportunity where to your human eyes there doesn't seem to be any at all. God's help will bring new vistas for us to strive towards, new dreams to go forward to. If we allow God's help in our lives by no longer holding ourselves back behind the imagined shadows of the past, in our free will, we must accept God's help as ours. It's fascinating. We can accept God's help for other people, but often when we're under a shadow, like a dark cloud in our lives. We think that it can't come to us. Well, this is just not true. The reason we can believe bigger and better for other people is because we carry our own baggage. We know what our baggage is because we packed it. 
and we don't carry the baggage of others. But each person has baggage. And we can, with God's help, unpack once and for all. The spiritual truth is to take this truth and live this truth on our, on our journey of life, to wear it in our souls. The good news is, you are not who you once were. And this is a huge truth. You are not your biography. You're not your past. You are a new creation of God daily. And as a child of God, you are defined spiritually by your potential, not by your past. As a child of God, you have the same potential that was given to every great person. You may choose to live perpetually in the shadows of past mistakes and errors, but this is not God's will for you. As a child of God, you are evolving every day into a better person, into a better spiritual being. And the light of God, as it comes through you, it will eliminate all shadows. Now, some of the greatest people that I have ever known were not always great people. They weren't even what you would call good. But they became overcomers. They realized with God's help they could do anything. And they remade themselves. And they became someone that I call great. There comes a time in our own spiritual journey when we must muster up a greater courage than we have presently ourselves. We must wear the courage of God and in a way take God's hand and go past the shadows of that we have been living beneath and behind for too long and go out into the light of a new life with our partner, God. When we realize that we're not going it alone, this gives a tremendous power of overcoming. We have a new God-given strength, but more than that, when we agree to do this, we're given new abilities, new God-given gifts, new divine power to, to accept and lay hold of the great gifts that are waiting for us to unwrap and to have and to hold. I pray today that the light of God is totally revealed to you and in you. And I pray that the light of God, as it is revealed, eliminates shadows in you permanently.